Hello everybody, it is Emery48 here and welcome back to another Marvel Monday. Now before I start, I just want to say please subscribe. Only 10% of people that watch these videos are subscribed, so I'd love to get that number up a little bit higher. Now, on to Marvel Monday. We'll start with the first thing that I watched. Uh, there's a couple shorts in this video and one movie. Now the first short was a funny little thing that happened on the way to Thor's Hammer. Uh, it's a little three minute clip and if you do have Disney Plus I'd definitely recommend uh, giving it a watch. It was fun. Uh, definitely nothing that really pushes the story forward. Uh, it doesn't even impact the story at all. Realistically if you had well, not watched that and watched Thor you would still know what was going on. But Agent Coulson is moving up my list of favorite characters. He was great. Uh, very funny scene. It's basically just a scene uh, at a gas station, but it was very good. Uh, the other th uh, short is the third thing that I actually watched, but we can cover it first. Uh, the Consultant. Anytime we can get a Stark in, I'm going to enjoy it probably. Uh, so it was a Stark and a Coulson, so that's a great duo for me. And it was another funny little short. And this one actually like maybe pushes the story a little bit more. Um, it actually has some story impact. So, again, not overly important, but I'd still recommend watching it because it was fun. Now, Thor, the movie, the beef and potatoes of this video. Uh, it was good. Not great. Uh, definitely not challenging for my favorite Marvel movie so far. Um, but definitely not the worst. It's probably going to place in at fourth currently because I've only watched five movies. Uh, but it will slip in between Captain America and Captain Marvel. And I think that's a reasonable place for it. Uh, it was a good movie. But it wasn't, to me, it wasn't better than Captain America. Um, there were times it felt uh, a little Lord of the Ringsy, which is not a negative thing. I enjoy Lord of the Rings. But Asgard versus the Frost Giants... For what those two civilizations are. It was very Lord of the Rings-esque combat. Uh, which surprised me considering how they travel. Um, I thought the story overall was pretty good. It did feel very early 2010s, which is when the movie came out. So that's not really a thing I can put as a negative towards the movie. That's, that's when the movie came out. Um... My favorite character in the movie was definitely not Thor. Might be Agent Coulson, honestly. Uh, if he appeared more, it probably would have been. Uh, but I really liked the Maiden and the Three Warriors. I don't really know any of their names. Uh, but the blonde one and the bearded one, the big bearded one. That duo was really fun, and the Maiden was fun. The Asian dude didn't really say much, honestly. Um, I really liked Loki's character. That was fun. Um, and Thor. Thor was a good character, just not my favorite. My favorite would come from that Maiden and the Three Warriors pod. Um, I thought Odin was cool. Even the Frost Giants was a very nice enemy to have. Um, I thought the whole gate part was interesting. Um, and the Guardian of the Gate, or whatever he is... Uh, that was a very cool character. Uh, and I'm glad he lived. Thought he was going to die at one point. That was going to be very sad. I am annoyed that the people of Asgard believe that Loki is dead. Because if there's one thing that I've learned from Star Wars, and I'm learning that I should carry that over into Marvel, is don't believe somebody is dead until you see their body dead. That's the only time that you believe it. If you haven't seen the body, they've lived. Somehow, they've found a way. Uh, the post credit scene was cool. And I'm concerned. But that's fine. Uh, I'll, I'm sure I'll find out about that in the future. But that post credit scene was a little concerning for me. Natalie Portman, always great. Um... Not going to complain about a Natalie Portman role. She was fun. Uh, kind of a quirky, quirky character uh, compared to her character in Star Wars. 
uh, but still a fun character. Believe that is all that I have for Thor and the shorts. Uh, I'm staying at a 7 for Marvel. It wasn't good enough to push my interest level up, uh, my fandom level up or down. Uh, it wasn't it wasn't bad, so it was not going to push it down, but it was not good enough to push it up. Thank you everyone so much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.